Today, I'm going to tell you about something that could really add value to your life and your decision making. Uh, it's something that's really helped me out, helped my colleagues out, and even uh, leadership teams out. It's this concept of what do you do when you are panicking? So let's say there's a problem in front of you, you really don't know how to solve it, it seems insurmountable, um, and there's a lot of different ways to go, and you have to make a decision. What do you do? Well, this acronym personally really helped me out, and I think you can apply it to your personal life, you can apply it to your business life, any kind of decision making that you want to make, um, this really helps. So the concept is panic, that's present alternatives, not issues, and you do this to drive clarity. So the P is present and the A is alternatives. So what I mean by that is when you have a big problem, stop and try to come up with three potential avenues for that problem. So I like to view that as different views. You can say view A, view B, view C. But what you do there is you're trying to come up with extreme different outcomes or ways to solve the problem. So an example of this would be, okay, I need to decide if I want to buy a house. Well, view A is you buy a house. View B is you rent a house. And view C might be you move to a very different neighborhood in order to afford that house. That's in your personal life. If you're in business, you could think of, well, I need to decide if I want to expand to this specific area. View A could be, I expand aggressively. View B, I ex expand moderately. And then view C, I like to think of something completely different. What if you expanded to a completely different area? And then um, what you're really trying to do there is you're looking at alternatives, not issues. That's the NI in panic. The, the goal there is you're not trying to list all the different problems with each view. What you want to do is you want to try to figure out the upside, the pros, and the cons. And so for each view, each path you want to go down, list the reasons why you should do it and list the reasons why you shouldn't and try to write those down succinctly. That's a key part of this is making sure you can articulate the benefits and the cons of each specific path. So for example, if you're saying, I want to buy a home and I want to explore it in my neighborhood. Well, your pros could be, hey, I can live there for a long time. I can grow my family there. I can redesign the house. The home might appreciate over time. The cons are you can't move. What if you get a new job? What if you, uh, what if mortgage payments are just way too high, like with interest rates right now? And, and then when you go to renting, you kind of can look at the different view and then moving, you have the commute, right? But you can lay that all out. And then the whole purpose of this is then to drive clarity. So when I'm talking about driving clarity, what you can do is then take that to either mentors, your business leaders, or your family and friends. Say, hey, I'm having this problem and I really want to figure out the next step. And so what is that next step for me? I, well, I thought about it in these three different ways. Here's the pros and cons for those ways. Can you guys help me out? Am I missing anything? Are you seeing any pros that I'm missing or cons? And, and can you help me make a decision here? And that's, and that's where you can use this acronym for any decision making. So even if in college, right, you can make the decision that um, you can use this to figure out your college degree, right? Like you can figure out if you want to go be an accounting major, a finance major, or an engineering major, you can do this list and then have a cohesive way to talk to your friends about it. Why this is so much better than just presenting issues is if you present issues, you come across as you're looking like you're complaining. Well, if you're driving clarity through alternatives, it looks like you've thought through it and you're ready to take someone's advice seriously. So hopefully this is helpful. If it is, just let me know and I'll make more videos like this. Um, we've got lots of little pockets of insights that I think would be really helpful to you all. And um, it helps me in my personal life, it helps me in my business life, uh, and it helps me in my financial life. And I just want to help you out too. So I appreciate it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.